Hello and welcome back. Short video, quick update on Project Bilingo. Check the rover on the lift, really, there's not too much wrong with it. Uh, needs a front track rod end on this side, that six, seven pound, uh, even for a decent quality one, so I'll get that done. As I mentioned, the tyres are rough, but I just need, I'm, there's no point in taking this wheel off just to change the track rod end. I'm, it's going away tonight to get the welding done. Uh, when I get it back, I'll, obviously when I take this wheel off to do the track rod, I'll swap them all around. So that's done. Check under the bonnet, everything's okay. I'll show you in the back what I've got to do under here. Um, one thing which I did a light check for the MOT and the front indicators are flashing more white than orange and there's your answer. Very common on cars of today. Don't know why that's not zooming in for. But you can see all of the... Uh, without me moving it, there you go. All the orange is coming off, so just two new bulbs. Side lights are a bit dull, headlights aren't the best, but after I've done the MOT, I'm going to do a bit of an upgrade on the lights, but for the MOT, just leaving everything standard. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, from a distance, this looks okay. If you remember, this had a big patch of rust here. Um, I've just gotten a white touch-up pen and dabbed it in, uh, scraped it down, did some QR rust on it, and it needs to be tea-cutted around where the little bits of rust have run. But that's just purely preventative for over the winter. Um, you know, the van's certainly no show vehicle. Uh, and I've had a bit look out at the bottom of that sill. I'm going to get him to cut out about half this one there and do that. And the other side's getting done, as you've seen. So around to the back, as I mentioned, um, the number plate lights on these are a nightmare because you cannot get underneath here whatsoever. Uh, they're just a complete pain to get to. So what you've got to do is take the inner liner out, which is this. Um, wait, there's the one fitted. There's one fitted, obviously, there. But to get these out, if you start pulling on, you smash all these little uh, clips. And this is really all that are. Little press studs. So you really can't go too rough with them. What you do is, <laughs> if you've got them, get a special tool like this. And this basically keeps the force back pair pliers and they're specially designed for interior trim clips i will put a link in the description if anybody wants these but you get the idea you slide it underneath bring it up pop it and it brings them off without causing damage then that exposes being able to get you have to excuse us keep stopping there uh, this is a 20 mile an hour zone here and you would actually think what well, on an f1 racing track at times it's it really is horrendous uh that's why i've got to keep just clocking in and out on here uh, so number plate lights like you said you've got to take the interior panel off and that exposes the inside and what you got to do is is there the holes for them and these are the back of the unit here and all you do is you just push in the two little clips together like that and the drop out simple as that but as you can see that um this one the bulbs sit rattling around inside of it and this one it's it's just not worth you, you can get the normal ones from the outside via those little holes and you pop them out and then nine times out of ten you kind of get them in so rather than faffing about i'm really not wanting to spend a lot of money on this van but i ordered these and they were less than two pounds that euro car parts there's the number have a look genuine psa original with the hologram on and everything genuine peugeot Citroen made in france full lamp units with the bulb already in casing already over all the housing and the plug for like two quid each. So for the hassle, I'm just going to bang the two uh, new lamp units in, really. Saves all the messing about since you've got to take all this off. So I'm going to push them in and I'll show you kind of as in, like show you how I'm doing it as I'm going. I'll attempt to show you this as best as I can in the dark and with one trying to do it with one hand. So the lamp unit naturally has got to point down towards the number plate. And you've got to kind of use... It's going to be difficult this to show you, but you've just got to put... Bring it around, bring it underneath next to the number plate, as you can see what I'm doing here. You've got to kind of wrangle on a little bit with it, as you can see, and get the two little lugs to line up. And when they do line up, see, it's difficult only with one hand because I need to pull the unit towards us. I'll just see if I can manage, I'll just see if I can get it through here. I can barely see what I'm doing in this darkness here. I'm losing the light. That's the problem with the winter. I try to do these videos, unfortunately. Come three, four o'clock. That's it. I'll just get this lined up. So there you go. You've just got to use two hands. And when it's up to a point like that, you just, for the final push, just get your hand behind on the lens and pop it up. 
till you hear it click like that, like that. See them two clicks, and that's those two little units on the side. Those things. It's really dark in here. I'm trying to show you those two little things there, just pinging. It's not a great deal to see from the outside. You can't do anything with them. That's them just up there. As you can see, there's very little room between this handle. Hence, you've got to take the panel off. I actually thought the whole handle had to come off in fairness. So that's it in. And then you just got to do the final part, which is plug the plug in. But bearing in mind, this is for any, any PSA car, any Citroen or Peugeot, they're all pretty much all. I wouldn't say every single one, but most of them use this setup. So if, it, if your lamp looks like anything like this, you'll have big difficulties when they get old trying to get this apart to replace the bulb so top tip go to your car parts while they've still got some stock lying about and buy yourself these less than a fiver there's the part number genuine parts i bet if i'm persian and Citroen, they'll be 15 20 pound each or more so now we just got to go around and test it so switch the lights on and have a look see what's happening at the back Oh, I know what I forgot. The van will be in eco mode because I've had the doors open for too long. It may or may not let me put the lights on. I have a feeling it probably won't. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, let's see if we've got number plate lights. And there we go. Is there one or two on? There we go, both them on. One, two. That's all you need for your MOT. Actually, for an MOT, this van, you really only need one working. If you've got one bulb and it's out, it's a fail. If you've got multiple sources, i.e. two, and one of them's out and the other one's working, it's a pass. But I just find it's better when you've got an older-looking van like this with little bits of rust and tatty on there. Keep on top tip for you. Keep on top of things like I'm saying, wheel trims that just look damn untidy when you're um, driving about and, you know, you've got one missing wheel trim and tatty things. Just tidy up your van a little bit or all that cars this isn't on the road uh and you'll just save yourself so much more aggro off the um off the police you know make sure weekly check your bulbs are working all right <laughs> yeah just basic general maintenance you know make sure your number plates are clear not all like kind of falling to bits and you know it doesn't fail does it <laughs> the noise down here is unbelievable yeah so obviously Make sure it's tied, Make ch check your tyres weekly, lights weekly, check your wipers, you know, just daft little things, having a little side light bulb out or an indicator flashing white. All of that's going to give PC Plod the ideal time to stop you. Then when he stops you over a little bulb out, then you'll go to your tyres, there's three points, etc, etc, etc. So just keep on top of basic maintenance on your, especially on all the vans, uh, because at the minute the police are just stopping you for just about anything keep on top of the basic things keep them tidy and you shouldn't get too much hassle so there bulbs done at the back i'm going to do the side lights at the front the indicator bulbs i'm going to stick new orange ones into them in fact i'll pause the video now i'll do the bulb and i'll show you the example now i've changed the bulb and i'm going to be totally honest with you uh i bought these bosch bulbs i bought these bosch bulbs and they're not uh, they're perfectly orange but they're not as orange when they're flashing as what they should be. I'm actually going to contact the supplier uh, about that. But anyways, that's the new bulb put in, which to me, it is fully orange. But uh, this is the other side, which isn't as bad as the other one. It does come across as far more orange on the uh, photo than what it actually is. But the, um, this bulb's the same as the other one. But I have noticed with these Bosch ones, they are, they are flashing slightly white. But it's a lot better uh, than what was in and the camera doesn't pick it up quite as well so there we go that's a fun bulb sorted i'm going to do an upgrade on the side lights and headlights when the time comes when the van's sorted so there you go just a short video i'll come back to you when i'm doing everything else um i'll show you in the back what's actually to come once i've turned these lights off um this is what i've got with it being winter I was going to do the wax oil on this van, but the wax oil, when it's cold, just simply doesn't go on. And we're luckily, we haven't had no salt yet. So this stuff here, believe it or not, works just as good. It's extra tacky, new formulation, excellent water resistance. For an old van like this, which is worth practically nothing, well, you, at the minute, vans are worth good money, but I'm just going to six, six of them will more than cover the underneath. It doesn't drop off, doesn't go onto the road, doesn't cause any danger to any other road users. Doesn't necessarily kill rust like wax oil does, 
but it does protect them so for how long it'll take put it on it's clear it doesn't have black tar like stuff underneath just an extra bit of protection auto bright citrus wash we all know about this i'm just going to go around the whole van on the outside spray it let it soak in give it a rub down and jet wash off just to tr try to bring it up a little bit you know me i've already been on here on if you look at one of my previous videos this is an old van still got some brand new bosch wipers to go on it these uh, dv6 engines are renowned for getting clogged up with uh, like kind of um you know like the like tar and sludge and the oil systems which knack the turbos this engine actually runs sweet as a nut so i'm just going to put an oil flush in this is brilliant stuff german stuff normfest forget the mot clean i don't know why they call it that it's basically just an engine flush which it tells you the engine lubrication system cleaner put it in the oil let it run for half an hour drain it out got a man air filter obviously an oil filter a nice fuel filter there bosch one i'll show you that when i fit them and i'm going to check if it's got a pollen filter but they say the non-aircon models don't and what was else on oh, the track rod end which is getting delivered uh tomorrow which i'll kind of do a brief update when i do that so i'll catch you on another video thanks for watching like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you next time bye